It was hard to hear outside. Okay. 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 Well, don't, don't talk. We've been around since uh, 1958 as a land trust uh, research station. Uh, we've got about 150,000 acres of conservation land uh, in the region, about 10,500 or so here in Brooks County. Um, we respect, uh, respectfully uh, request that you not agree with the special, special exception to this project. Um, we're absolutely not against uh, solar projects. We do have some specific concerns. Uh, the first is just the inconsistency of the project given the current zoning description for your agricultural land use category, or your agricultural zoning category. And I'm, I'm assuming you maybe talked about this to this point, but I was outside, so I didn't, I didn't hear that conversation. Okay. Um, but since I'm up here, I'm going to go ahead and repeat it anyway. Um, <laughs> the purpose of, the, uh, of your ag district is to permit uh, agricultural uses to encourage the maintenance of the rural countryside, to preserve forest land and other undeveloped lands away from areas of population growth, and to allow residents to retain their traditional rural ways of life. Yes. I've heard that before. Okay. Well, so I'm going to okay. Where were you um, with? There is there's no reference to solar in, in that description. In your zoning category. <coughs> um, second issue concerns just the lack of uh, support in your comprehensive plan. Um, there's no reference to utility scale solar in the comprehensive plan, which I think was updated two years ago. There are a lot of references, obviously, to economic development, and surely there are economic development aspects uh, to this project, but there are also significant references to protecting the agricultural character areas of the community. I think most importantly, there's a provision in the comp plan in the section on development patterns, and it states, every community should review, this is the comp plan for the county, Every community should review any current land use ordinances to see where additional or new ordinances, rules, or regulations should be adopted and where exi existing ones should be updated. I think that applies to this situation. I mean, you're looking at a special exception that covers 1,700 acres. Um, and there's, again, there's no guidance in the current zoning or the current comp plan to deal with that. So that's specifically what that provision is for. Um, I think if the county wants to encourage you to the scale solar, if you need to encourage the county to take the time to work with stakeholders and to develop land use standards, both in zoning and in comp planning, protect the rural character of the community, rural quality of life, and natural resources. Um, third concern is just the uh, models uh, solar zoning ordinance, which I know was discussed in the uh, planning commission hearing. Um, that is a, a pretty effective model solar zoning ordinance, but very few of those provisions from that guide are actually built into this application. And when they're mentioned, there's no detail. Um, I think most importantly, that model solar zoning ordinance discusses developing solar on already disturbed sites. It references not color cutting forests. It references protecting the oldest and the healthiest trees on site and having a well developed uh, visual buffer. Um, Fourth and the last concern is just yeah, the, uh, uh, the applicant states that, the sol that solar is considered a special exception use based on the previous approval uh, of the Quitman Solar Facility. Um, as you well know, every special exception application is unique and has to be judged on its own merits. You can't specifically rely on a previous special exception uh, approval. That adjacent facility was built on a row crop farming crank, a highly disturbed agricultural site. The current one is a completely different scenario on a 1,700-acre forest or track that's going to be largely clear-cut in terms of the uplands. So it's a very different scenario than the, than the previous one. So we'd recommend that the commission not approve the special exception. Uh, instead, we'd, uh, we'd ask us that you adopt a short-term uh, solar energy facility moratorium, uh, and that would allow the county staff and stakeholders the time to clarify the county's priorities and to develop measures that are referenced in the model zoning ordinance, or the model solar zoning ordinance, uh, including ones to protect the loss of rural character, uh, the loss of natural resources, and significant change to rural quality of life. So we appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you.